Hey YouTube, uh, Rob here again, uh, doing another video, uh, doing another content entry. Uh, this time I'm doing an entry into Rory's uh, 100 sub competition, which he's sort of running at the moment. Uh, so big congrats to him for you know, reaching the 100 subs. Uh, I think he deserves a lot more than that. Um, he's giving away a really awesome prize, giving away the uh, James Bond uh, sort of box edition with all the with all the films in it, which is um, a great set. And while I do actually really do want to own that one, I've actually been looking at sort of buying that for uh, quite a while. So definitely check out Rory if you haven't sort of, you know, not really to him, definitely give him a check out. He does sort of make uh, really great videos, I think. Uh, I think he's only been on YouTube not, not that long. And I have a feeling I've only been subscribed to him perhaps for a few weeks or something. Uh, but I have been enjoying watching his videos and a uh, really great YouTuber, I think. So he does sort of ask three questions, which I'll uh, answer. So the first question was, uh, what's your favourite actor that sort of played uh, James Bond? Um, well, obviously probably the answer to that is probably going to have to be uh, Sean Connery. I think that's probably going to be uh, the answer that probably, you know, most people are going to give, I think. Um, but I've sort of also been enjoying you know, Daniel Craig's Bond in the last sort of three movies. I think he makes a really good Bond. and um, I think they're all really great movies as well, actually. I'm talking about sort of perhaps underrated actors, I mean, you've got the... The, the one film that uh, George Lazenby did, which I think is actually, is actually yeah, a bit of a, an underrated movie, I think. Um, and I have sort of read other people say that too on the internet as well, that some people reckon that that is a bit of an underrated movie. One of the sort of, you know, best sort of Bond movies, they reckon. Sort of similar to sort of the recent sort of uh, Daniel Craig movies, because they've got a really sort of personal sort of element, sort of a personal James Bond to them. Um, when you know, on your Majesty's service is, uh, you know, James Bond is going to get married. I mean, that's you know, that's one of the major things in the movie, which is something we don't sort of see ever again. I don't think in any of the other sort of you know Bond movies. Um, a great sort of villain too by uh, Telly Savaris. But I think he does. He does. He was a really good Bond though. I thought, even though he sort of only made one film, and you know, there are different sort of versions on why he only sort of made you know that one film. One of the versions I had sort of heard was that. Um, He's his agent, uh, George Lazenby's agent, sort of said to him, well, this, there's no future in the Bond uh, franchise because this is going to be the last one, apparently. And um, so he was sort of, you know, sort of advised to sort of, you know, move on, you know, to do other things, which is why, apparently why he declined because he didn't think there was going to be, there's going to be no sort of future, you know, in James Bond, and uh, which is why I think he sort of declined it because he sort of thought, well, I might as well, you know, there's no future in Bond, so I might as well go on. Uh, you know, concentrate on something else. You know, I think I think that I think that's sort of why he declined it. Apparently, but there's, there's, there's a few different versions though. Anyway, um, but definitely a great film that one. Definitely underrated uh, on that on that film. Uh, so he was definitely a great Bond, I thought. Uh, anyway, so that's um, yeah, you've got Sean Connery, Daniel Craig, and uh, George Lazenby. I think they're definitely the top three. I think, in my in my opinion. Um, okay, the question is, what's your favourite action film? Uh, I think for me, it's, it's, I think it's always been the original Die Hard movie. I think whenever, whenever someone someone sort of says, you know, you know or, or starts talking about action films, I, uh, James, Bo uh, James Bond, <laughs> wrong question. Um, Die Hard, is, you know, always sort of comes to mind. I think because I think that's just the you know, quintessential action film. I think um, just uh, I mean it's probably a bit you know sort of dated by today's standards and a bit tame maybe. I don't know, but. Great sort of uh, blockbuster action films, I think. They're definitely great movies, I think. So definitely Die Hard, I think, for me, is definitely my favourite sort of action film. Um, okay, third question was to recommend a sort of a, an underrated movie or a movie that, you know, not a lot of people sort of talk about. Um, now, there's a film that... I'm not sure if I've talked about this one before on my channel. I, I don't think I have. Um, but there's sort of a sci-fi film from, I think, 1984... Uh, it's called uh, Enemy Mine. I don't actually sort of own a copy of that, actually. Um, but it's a really great movie, I think. So it came out in 1984. It's by uh, Wolfgang Peterson and stars uh, Dennis Quaid and... Uh, I've got it uh, Lewis Gossett Jr. Uh, it's very sort of... If you're, if you're sort of a fan of sort of like sort of Star Trek, some of the perhaps a bit of a sort of extended version, perhaps, of a Star Trek episode type thing. Just a uh, very sort of simple sort of sci-fi story to it. Um, then you sort of about this sort of these these two races. You've got the, obviously the human race, and then you've got the alien race, which is the they're, they're called Drax. Um, basically, they've sort of been you know fighting each other for you know so many centuries and just sort of hate each other. And um, and but the basically the premise of the film is actually sort of got these these two pilots sort of thing in their spaceships, and they uh, both sort of meet each other in the middle of space and have this sort of this battle sort of thing, and have, have this sort of fight, and they both sort of shoot each other down. 
and they both sort of land on, on the same planet together and um they sort of you know obviously sort of start hate, you know sort of hate each other and um but they've got to sort of you know obviously got to, they've got to sort of work together on this sort of hostile planet to, to you know to try and escape and try and get off this planet sort of thing so they sort of start to sort of yeah, you know, sort of start hate each other first of all, but then they sort of start to realise that well, they're not actually that bad. Each other's race is not that bad, sort of thing, and uh, you know, sort of start to, to get along. I just sort of like the movie because it's a very sort of simple sort of movie. I mean, you've only got these these two actors on screen for most of the film, and they're the two that sort of carry the film because they're the only two we sort of we sort of see, and then um, we sort of see some. I don't want to spoil it, but we do sort of see some more actors towards the end of the movie. But for most of the film, we only sort of see these two, you know, these two actors and. Um, you know, sort of interacting with each other, and uh, I just think it's a you know really great sort of simple sort of story, and um, definitely sort of I mean, if you sort of took out sort of the you know the the, uh, the sci-fi elements out of it, it's it's the film's sort of about racism in some ways because you I mean you got the, you know Dennis Quaid is a white actor, and uh, the other guy uh, Louis Gossett Jr. is a, is a black actor, so I think definitely is a sort of a racial type thing going on, and um, how we should you know learn to, to you know. <laughs> get along with each other type thing, you know. Um, but that's definitely a great film. You can sort of find it. I think, I'm pretty sure it's got a... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's on VHS, but you can definitely DVD release of it. Uh, no Blu-ray, as far as I know. Um, but you can sort of find that movie. Definitely definitely worth checking out. Especially if you're sort of fan of, you know, sci-fi and Star Trek, you know, type storylines, I guess. Um, anyway, so there are three answers to those questions. I hope they're uh, good enough for the competition. Uh, thanks again to Rory for, you know, running the competition. Uh, I'll leave his link below, so definitely check him out and uh, give him a sub. I think he definitely deserves a lot more than 100 subs. I'm quite surprised he's only got 100 subs, actually. I thought he'd have a, uh, a lot more than that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, and, yeah, I'll be back very soon with another video for you. So, but for now, bye.